Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Alright, I am rested and refreshed for Marching Mills Fort, so... Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what's coming. Uh. 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 Okay. <laughs> the first one decided to, to take a different route, I guess. Be careful, because here comes a ch chump shark. I bet that's important. Yes, it was. Yeah, the hitbox is, uh, hitbox is kind of not what you think it is. <laughs> that baby will follow. Don't worry, I assure you, the baby will f Oh, shoot. The baby will follow. Oh, shooty, shoot. Not following fast enough. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I can recover from this, but, uh, well, let's, let's just see here I go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was way, way too bad at getting those coins in that run. All right. First chomp. Okay, this time it worked. <laughs> It decided not to last time, but this time it worked. All right, Chomp Shark. This time I am going to defeat you. By the way, you can manipulate its speed by moving on top of it. It'll go slower when you are uh, directly above it or behind it as opposed to in front of it. And defeated! <laughs> to the dentist! <laughs> Alright, so now we can do this, since we finally had a good run there. <laughs> and that, that background there looks looks like a level we've played before, doesn't it? Or at least it, it looks like it could have been the level we played before. I don't think it is a level we played before though, but it sure looks like it could be for sure. Oh, my head is squished from bonking it! I was looking for some hidden question mark, well, wing cloud things and well... Well, alright, outdoors, 100% it, I hope. And we are in. So, you got a middle ring down there, as tempting as it may be to hit, do not. You got that one outside, and we're gonna use that as sort of checkpoint. So let's go through the spiked fun guy door, well, it's potted spiked fun guy door, to be more precise, and we're gonna go through each of these rooms to get each of their keys. Sound good? I hope it does. Now we got a different sort of block here. If you get off of it for a certain amount of time, wait for it. Wait, oh, I thought that yeah, this is the one that disappears after a while. See that? It just it flashed away and then it disappeared, and then you can kind of get it to respawn. There we go. <laughs> but it works just like any other sort of arrow lift. So let's just go ahead up here at a nice comfortable angle. There we go, and go this way. See that? It yeah. Even if you're standing on it, it it'll still dis up. Uh, oh shoot! Disappear. So it, it's it's a different color. It's a different variety, but works basically the same, but here the idea is to be more accurate with one of these bad boys. Uh, I wanna go do this, and uh, just go right through the center like that. There we go, and, oh, yeah, this is a regular variety of arrow lift here, so... Uh, oh, hidden thing, hidden thing, ooh, stars, stars, um... Uh, I think the key is on the right side there, but I just wanna refill on some eggs here. Okay, yeah, I think this is the key. Oh no, it's not, it's not the key. It's coins, and a red coin! Hey, wait, did, I just want to make sure here, did I miss anything by those cactus... I can pound the ground to make them stun. And, uh, not that one, at least. Uh, oh, oh. Dang it. Okay, I'm going up this shaft, this... Oh, wait, there we go. I'm gonna go around that way, knock his... Knock his noodle out. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we're good here. I, I've done all I can do. Now, over here, I believe you want to be careful not to destroy all the dirt, if I recall correctly, because I think you need to get... Oh, well, maybe you don't need it to get up to the, the thing, but... And there's the key that I'm looking for. Anyway, I wanna, I'd like to eat your transportation as well as you yourself. And there we go. So now that we got a key, we pop out of the other door next to it so we don't have to 
uh, loop back around or anything like that. And we're going to use this key just to open up our inventory a little bit more here. And uh, you're going to notice there's another midpoint ring. Yeah, basically they're there so that you can just redo uh, redo anything you need to as you go. Uh, if you should die along the way, because there's so many different paths here, and oh boy. Lava room, maybe not. <laughs> oh, spike room, maybe not. Um. Oh, no. Um. Maybe I should hit a midpoint, but I'm pretty sure I only get two more midpoints besides the exit midpoint. Uh, wait, actually, no, that's enough midpoints then, so I'm gonna hit this one. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go through the lava one then, because it's a lava bucket route. And I, I taught you how to do this before, but now we're gonna see it in real deal, actually dangerous mode. Boop. Hit that in the lava, and... Uh, how did I miss the buckets? <laughs> that was just a, a horrendous jump. I mean, it's not like the bucket is big or anything like that, and I just went the wrong way. That is okay, though. <laughs> uh, what was down below? Was it just the eggs? I don't. I think it was just the eggs. Yeah, we already filled up on eggs back at the other place. All right. Can I fall in the bucket? Yeah. And can I eat you? Yeah. Red coin. And. I don't. I want my tongue out, preferably. That's why I did that. Because yeah, the, a lot of the things here pretty immune to fire. You'll see what I mean here. And we're off. Ooh, that was a little close, actually. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Oh, look at that. We can just kind of bounce around here, having a good time. Whoa! I don't need that for. Oh, hot lips! If that lava stream hits you, you die in one hit. <laughs> That, don't let the lava stream get ya. Alright. And whenever you see hot lips, you want to run for the hills. Ricochet and a key. Alright. That went pretty smoothly. I can hit that other midpoint now, I suppose. After I use this key, of course. Well, uh, well, mm, well can I actually use the key before? Yeah, I can. It's high enough. I was going to say, can I use the, mid, uh, use the midpoint after? Uh, using the key because the other than because uh, when I come back after death, then I would have to reuse the key and then yeah, <laughs> now I'd have to go back over to the left and whatnot. All right, now we can use this and turn everyone into stars. This is also stars too, by the way. Uh, but that's nothing we actually need here. That'll come back if I die anyway. But maybe I shouldn't have done that actually. Well, well, well. All right, we're going. <laughs> We got our helmeted spiky guys there having a good time. These, yeah, you can kind of just eat them all in one swoop there. Some are faster, some are slower. We got some, whoa, sniffets coming up the shaft. I didn't know you were going to fire that quickly. We also got some of these platforms that'll fall and turn when you use your weight on them. So yeah, that's nah, nothing too difficult or anything like that. Just going to have a good time going up those bad boys. And after I hit another midpoint, I'll get my stars back too, by the way. Um, I think I'd like to go down to the left, I think. Yeah, I guess down to the right, I don't have these ways to see where I'm going. I think, yeah, I think there's death down there, if I recall correctly. Let's just kind of go, and, oh shoot, oh shoot, there's coins down there, okay, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, well, oh, I got them all! <laughs> I didn't think that would work out as well as it did, because I missed. I wanted to go right in between all the coins, but yeah, well, well, it worked. <laughs> Alright, so now... This is gotta be straight up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Eat you. Get a one up as well as red coins. Eat you too. I thought there was something. Oh, I guess there wasn't anything in that corner. Uh, uh, I think that. Mm, I think they both lead to the same place. Both these doors, if I recall correctly. Let's just see here really quick. Uh, yeah, they both led to here, and I believe that contains a key, so I don't want to do that just yet. 
I wanna go back through here. Oh shoot! <laughs> that was that wasn't the door that I was thinking was the door that I wanted to go through. <laughs> well, well. I guess I'll just do a do a little loop back around here because I have no other choice in the matter. <laughs> it's not that big of a loop or anything like that. It's it, most of the time I'd say is spent getting the collectibles more than anything. Uh, okay, so now, uh, what was this down here then? Like, what was? Mm, there's death. I know that. <laughs> that door, I think. Is if I were to fall down where the key is, if I recall. Now that I think about it, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit that. Try and catch the. Oh shoot! Let's see. Try and catch the key. Well, I got the key, but yeah. If you go through there, you should be at that lower door, right? 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 Yes. Okay. That that makes more sense to my noodle memory and the. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now what I'm supposed to do here is go to that door up there using ye old pink platform and voila! Another door bites the dust. Only the upper right one remains. But first, let's use that key. Just to give myself a little bit of leeway here. And I think there's gonna be another midpoint after that door then, if I recall correctly. Maybe? I could be wrong? Well, here's red coins that, that are kind of dangerous to get. <laughs> well, just one red coin, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, well. I guess that's no midpoint. Uh-oh! That means I've got to <laughs> do this other room in one shot. <laughs> it's got those insta-kill thorns. That could be an issue, but we'll see, I guess. Because I could play it super extra cautious and destroy every thorn as I go. Oh wait, maybe this isn't the one that... I'm, maybe I'm thinking of some other castle. This is a bullet build room. <laughs> For the most part, PINBALL TIME! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alright, I clearly got all of the coins along the way there, too. <laughs> and yeah, those uh, you're gonna see different colors of these green blocks here that are more resilient to your eggs. Yeah, <laughs> they also function sort of like dirt in that they reset the counter of your ricochets. Like you know, after every three ricochets, it uh, it makes your egg go belly up or bottom up, and then it yeah, it kind of kind of makes it go out of out of existence, I guess you could say. But here, you can just kind of make it go over and over and over like that. Uh, I think I can sort of kind of use a bullet to, to get up there without using an egg. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that secret. Whoa, what happened there? You, did you see that? It just, it just bounced back and forth straight through the cloud. That was completely wasteful and dumb. <laughs> never seen that happen before. But at least there's a way to recover my eggs. And it wasn't an essential thing. Alright, let's just sneak on through here. And lap up that sniffet. And yeah, this isn't the one that I was thinking of after all. I mean, there are some insta-kill spikes here, but it's not really... But like, really in a dangerous spot or anything like that. There's these over here, I, I suppose, but, uh, oh shoot! <laughs> Sniffets are prob- I mean, uh, bandits are probably the most dangerous adversary. This is where I came from, right? 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 Uh... Oh wow, I just- I just made myself go back through a lot of stuff. <laughs> well... Well, I guess it wasn't that difficult anyway. <laughs> Okay, so that's blocked, that's blocked. I want to kill you off before you give me baby troubles. And that coin bandit's over there. Yeah, that's what they're called, as coin bandits. It's going to run away from you as it, as you approach it, but it's not really that big of a deal or anything like that. Uh, because it'll just get cornered. And you can also do 
uh, this to knock its coin out of its possession, just hit it with a coin, then it'll turn basically into a regular bandit that'll grab your baby. <laughs> so, yeah, and there's the key right there. I might also... Oh, I was gonna say, I might also decide to refill up on eggs at the bullet build blasters here, but eh, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of hassle. <laughs> oh, where'd that come from? <laughs> that was the red, last red coin. I also got that last flower too, if you didn't see, because I got a one-up from it. And this is... this is... yeah, this is leading back over, this is back to the beginning, because there was only one door on the outside of this one, so yeah. Logically, you would be looping around the entire way. Alright! Now I can refill an eggs. <laughs> Good enough, because I got only space for five eggs at the moment anyway. And... rough. I hope there's another midpoint like I thought there was, and I should not have used the midpoints the way that I did, but it still worked out somehow, I think. Although there still could be a chance of me dying out. Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna pop you. I'm gonna hit this, because it'll put me up to 30, and then I don't have to use any star item. Now, if I should die, I mean, I should say if I take a hit and force a death, I uh, could just restart back over to there at full of everything. So this should be a successful run. In theory, unless I accidentally kill the boss and take a hit on the very last second somehow. I don't know how that would be possible, but... <laughs> oh, she, oh dear. Well, Marching Meld will punch you to bricks! <laughs> and it's big! But at least it doesn't have pants to go down this time. So, it, it looks like a regular marching mill, but when you bounce on it, it doesn't do anything. And so, how, how do you defeat something of such magnitude? Oh, you ground pound it. <laughs> oh, that's just disappointing, as it bounced right back into me. But yeah, it's a splitting kind of boss, where you just keep splitting it until it gets smaller and smaller. Eventually, it'll turn into regular versions that you can just regular jump on top of. Uh, it's impervious to eggs, as I did ground pounds. So it's basically impervious to all of your attacks except for ground pounds until it turns back into the regular little form. And I'm just waiting for the timer to run out here, obviously, too, while I explain the boss. Trying to make the most of my time out there. <laughs> Alright, we're off. Those eggs, kind of useless in this scenario, except at the very, very end, I suppose. And yahoo! <laughs> Alright, let's all mess around this time and do this without any side bounces. <laughs> Don't let it bounce into you off of the sidewall, basically. And always ground pound it right in the center. When it gets down to the nitty gritty ones, it'll split into four instead of the regular two. So that'll, that'll kind of make it a little bit dicier, I guess you could say, as a surprise, <laughs> because one of those little ones may or may not just bounce into you once you're bouncing them around with your squishing tactics and whatnot. I should not hit that one so early, actually. Splitting bosses, you don't want to fill up the room with a ton of enemies, because if you fill up the room with a ton of enemies, it makes all the ground, ground area difficult to actually deal with. And you know what I'm gonna do? Eggs? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just just gonna play it safe here and not take hits. <laughs> just kill the remainders of eggs, so the eggs weren't useless after all. <laughs> no bonus game, of course, because, you know, there's no special end game roulette type thing, so... Yep! Yup, no bonus this time, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we revisit Chump Rocks! Keep it as long as you can, that is my hint to you.